All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Studios having a little bit of a yingling lager from the great state of Pennsylvania over there near Pottsville. My favorite beer of choice. Uh, getting ready to do an article that my good friend uh, Mel sent to me. Uh, just letting you know what my thoughts and uh, prayers are for this whole thing. The South Carolina Senate adopts a measure to limit federal gun seizures. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about a state. But before we do that, I want to introduce you to this company called Hits Arms. Uh, this is pretty cool. No ammo, no problem. Enhanced dry fire training. All right. Uh, this is what I'm using to go ahead and hone my skills or at least tighten up some of my dry fire stuff and draw and presses and things like that. I would show it on YouTube, but... Uh, They'll have a conniption fit if they see something that doesn't fit their agenda. Well, in any case, uh, I've got a link down below. There is a discount code. Use the discount code. Hits arms. There's the uh, logo right there. Okay, so what are we talking about? My buddy Mel, 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 you may have seen if you followed the channel like many, many years ago. Uh, he uh, used to be on the uh, channel quite often. He sent this article to me, and it's kind of interesting, and it's going to go along with the lines of some other things that we're going to do in the future because I'm going to talk about gun control as it relates to a culture. I mean, we've got Bill de Blasio who uh, thinks the whole world's going to fall apart uh, because of it. And then I picked up on another article uh, in the Rolling Stones. Uh, in the Rolling Stone magazine, there was a, a, a guy, and we'll talk about this later on, but the title of the video is that uh, the U.S. Supreme Court is going to be the source that destroys the world or something like that. So what it is, is I, it's in my opinion that I feel like a lot of these people have always, they've grown up considering that guns are evil and the people who own them are crazy and they're always a potential criminal. We've heard me say that before in the past. That's the Jin Saki thing. Huh? So anyway, let's talk about this. Republican South Carolina senators vote to make it harder for feds to seize guns. Wow. Seems reasonable to me, but to somebody else, it might seem a little wacky. Um, talk about this. Some state lawmakers want to prevent state and local law enforcement agencies from enforcing federal gun seizure laws. And oh, by the way, this is from the state. Okay, that's a uh, publication down there. On Tuesday, state senators approved what's called a budget proviso, a one-year law tacked onto the state budget. Ooh, sounds like reconciliation to me, doesn't it? I mean, let's get what we have to do and we'll just put it on the budget and pass whatever laws we want. Don't need a filibuster. Don't need a majority vote. You just got to have one vote in the Senate and you're done. That would prevent law enforcement agencies uh, that receive state or local dollars from enforcing federal laws, regulations, and executive orders that come into effect. Executive orders. You pick up on that? They come into effect this calendar year if those rules require seizure of a gun or firearm parts solely because of the classification of the weapon. This is pretty smart in my book. These guys are going in here and they are preemptively creating a, a, a roadblock towards the federal law that could be implicated. Now, here's the whole thing. There's later on, there's a state, state senator or congresswoman or somebody like that, and they're like, this could never happen. I don't understand why you're freaking out. Holy smokes, lady, where have you been? An anti-gunner was sitting there going, they're never going to take your guns. I always loved it when somebody said when I did an anti or a Joe Biden gun, uh, Joe Biden video. They would always sit there and go, I don't know what you're worried about. Obama never took your guns. Joe Biden's not going to take your guns. He might not, but Harris or Kamala might. The proviso comes after a recent string of mass shootings, blah, blah, blah. They always got to bring that up. As the Democrats control the White House, the U.S. representatives, and the U.S. Senate, leading to fear among Republicans that new gun regulations could be enacted through federal legislation or executive orders. Well, he's already tried it. He's already doing it. He's already moving forward. He's putting forth the effort to get everybody to do it. And there's enough people in Congress, in the House, to make it happen. Don't think anything's going to get old past, oh, uh, what's his name, Joe Manchin over there, because he has refused to step down. And, and <laughs> being called a roadblock, he's proud of it. And I'm kind of happy for him. Critics say such proposals are political theater, efforts to play to Republicans in the state to support the Second Amendment rights and see Democratic control in Washington as a threat. You damn skippy. Exactly. And this is one of the reasons why we, as gun owners, are sitting here scared to death. One, he's trying to take anything that you can get through the mail, ammo through the mail. If you looked at all the bullshit that they have tried to pass in the last couple of months, it's absolutely crazy. 
Supporters of the proviso say the measure is necessary to prevent federal government from using state and local law enforcement to carry out gun measures that come from Washington and that state policymakers may disagree with. Oh, and the, sometimes I can't read them right. <laughs> Uh, from the Senate Majority Leader Shane Massey, I believe the states are not mere subdivisions of the federal government. Uh, and he's the one who introduced the proposal and is rumored to be considered a run for governor. Anybody who's pro Second Amendment, I will support 100%. Mark Robinson, state of North Carolina, I think he's trying to go for the Senate. I really wish he would push it to go for the governor runship because I understand uh, McCormick or uh, Pat McCory is trying to go for the Senate seat as well as you've got uh, Laura Trump. After mass shootings, blah, blah, Joe Biden issued executive orders to reduce the number of homemade firearms. 80 percenters. Well, you know what? He's not necessarily just going for 80 percenters. They're going for ammo, barrels, anything that you can purchase from PSA, Midway USA, Brownells, uh, Palmetto State Army, Primary Arms, all those companies. He's trying to shut your ability down so that you can order a parts kit. And that is what he's talking about. Not just 80 percenters, but parts kits as well. <laughs> Okay, to reduce the number of homemade firearms, which are often made from parts bought online and without serial numbers, and to reduce access to stabilizing braces, which allow pistols to act more like rifles. I think I got that wrong, which act rifles to act like pistols. South Carolina Democrats and Senate said the fear is unfounded, adding Biden is not so far left on the political spectrum to push laws that would lead to mass gun seizures. The guy's a lying piece of shit. Okay, anything he says, I can't believe him. You can't believe him. So what's to say that this jackass, oh, gun control is a national health crisis. Gun control is this. Gun control is that. This mother trucker could probably go ahead and sign something tomorrow. And next thing you know, National Guard said, why do you suppose the National Guard is still sitting in D.C.? Let's just go there because of bullshit like this. <laughs> this paranoia about one of the most conservative Democrats to come down. Let me read that to you again. I don't know who the hell. Oh, Marlon Kempson out of Charleston. Okay, if any of you guys know her, uh, I'm guessing it's a her. Uh, this paranoia about one of the most conservative Democrats to come down and take away your guns is paranoia without basis. I'm going to throw up. Okay, this lady right here has absolutely no clue what that jackass wants to do. <sighs> State Senator Dick Harputlian, Democrat Richland, said the amendment was more about the electoral gain. This is a political gimmick. I get it. You've got the base out there. You know what? Nothing when it comes to the Second Amendment is a political gimmick, gimmick because we hold heart, our dear <laughs> right to bear arms. But Republicans in the chamber said the proviso is necessary to protect gun rights. With all due respect, you can't say that, said Senator Penry Gustafson, Republican out of Kershaw, South Carolina, in response to Democrat senators who say there won't be any future federal laws to add gun restrictions. I don't know what Biden and his administration will do in the future. I can only tell you from my experience, he's lied about everything that he's done. He will continue to lie about everything he gets done or wants to do, and I'm going to continue to be fired up about it. There's going to come a day where we're going to do a million-man march on damn uh, D.C., and it's coming soon. These jackasses need to know. So this was an article written by Joseph Bestos, uh, state government political reporter at the state. I would like to say thank you for writing that article. Mel, thank you very much for sending this in. But here's the gist of it. Here's the synopsis. You've got a president, President Joe Biden. Uh, who was somewhat elected. And the only problem that I have with that jackass, other than he is senile, has no idea what he's doing, and he's being told. He came to the table, and all you people who voted, remember what I say. You voted for him because he said he was the only moderate. What has he done that is moderate? What has he done that has brought this country together? What has he done other than take jobs, raise taxes, because, oh, you can afford it? And again, kill jobs, raise taxes, and oh, I'll, I'll, let me guess, uh, let the ungodly amount of illegal aliens, and yes, I'll say it, illegal aliens into this country. Oh, and then that's not his fault. <laughs> Whatever. All right, guys, Kettleboy32, let me know what your thoughts are down below, man. Uh, I would say thank you very much, Mr. Massey, for bringing stuff like this. More and more of the states 
are moving towards a sanctuary status to where they're going to tell the federal government to go kiss their ass. And you know what? Joe Biden will cut funding, and he'll do all kinds of stuff to help him bring it in. And, and it's just going to be ironic. It just it, it kills me. Anyway, uh, we always, always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom, because freedom is not free. It's Cuddleboy32. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and you haven't already done so. And thanks for sticking with me to the end. I'm really looking forward to it. Go over there and check these things out, man. This is pretty cool. If you uh, want to increase your performance and proficiency, uh, this is a good way to do it without spending an ass load on money. I think uh, money on ammo. I think right now, 50 rounds of 9 millimeters is like 50 bucks, which is absolute BS. Go to Boy 32. I am out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.